Obsidian is not normally seen as a collaborative piece of software or a collaborative app, but collaborative sync that came out a few months ago makes this much easier. And when you combine something like VS Code Live Share, you can actually share your work inside of Obsidian with someone else live. Visual Studio Code is a free code editor, and when you go to the extensions tab on the left, search for Live Share and install the Microsoft Live Share extension. You then get a Live Share button in the left ribbon where you can share your session, which is any folder on your system. And because Obsidian is local files on your computer, you can use Live Share VS Code with your Obsidian Vault. So one person would have the Vault open and Live Share their work inside of VS Code for someone else to join. This video is myself and John, my PKM podcast co-host, working together in a collaborative sync vault, but doing a live work session inside of VS Code. Here you can see I have VS Code open with the extended brain vault folder. Then I'm creating a live share session at the bottom of my screen in the status bar, which I invited John to. John then clicked on the link inside of the Zoom chat, opened up VS Code. He had the option for browser or on his system. Then down the bottom right of the screen, he can continue as anonymous or sign in. He chose to continue as anonymous and then add his own name. And now he's waiting for my approval. So I accept and he can read and write. And now as John types, I can see what he's typing and where his cursor is. I can also focus on John. So now wherever John goes in my vault, it automatically pushes me to the same place. So if John goes to a different file and types something, I can see what he's typing. And then if John moves to another page, it will move me with John and then let me see what John's typing elsewhere. But if I go into the Obsidian Vault, there's no changes yet because it's all in VS Code. So if I go to the top left, you can see I need to save the changes. So Control S. Now when I go back to Obsidian, the changes are made inside of the Obsidian Vault. And the opposite would happen if I make changes inside of Obsidian, it will change inside of VS Code as well, but this is an instant change rather than having to wait for a save. The biggest limitation to this is obviously Obsidian features are in the Obsidian app, not VS Code. So if you want to use any of the plugins, data view, or any of the backlink features, you'd need to be inside of Obsidian. Having said that though, you could use Obsidian Collaborative Sync for working together, and then when you're on the same page, use the live share, because Obsidian Collaborative Sync works perfectly fine if you're on different files. The issue is when you're editing the same file at the same time, which is where VS Code Live Share could be a potential solution. Another advantage of using VS Code and Live Share is that it's free. You can have as many people as you want join the session without signing in as an account, as you saw, adding their name in so they can edit any part of the vault that you're sharing. Whereas Obsidian Collaborative Sync requires each user to have a sync account, which obviously can get expensive if you're working in a big team. Of course, you can collaborate using Dropbox or Google Drive or some other cloud service, but there are going to be conflict issues if you've edited the same file without it updating, which those conflict issues are somewhat solved with Obsidian Sync collaboration. But like I say, live working in the same file, live sharing VS Code for me is the best solution I've found. This video is part of my Obsidian onboarding playlist that covers many of the features, the community plugins, the core updates, insider builds, and also relates to my Obsidian onboarding course, and you can find all the information in the description below.